Hello guys and welcome to another Era of Chaos video guys today we are talking about the Abyss Lord or in other words how good he is at 3 stars next week I will be releasing another video talking about how good the Abyss Lord is at 6 stars however I won't be going into any details reading the skills I believe you can do that yourself if I have to summarize at 3 stars the Abyss Lord is a frontline killer which is pretty cool considering that 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 was kind of missing in Inferno, because once the devil dies, then it's a little bit tricky, you don't have any other good source of damage. And I'll be testing the Beast Lord against my Astro. You can see my Astro formation. I used to be Astro main, I'm not Astro main anymore because Astro currently sucks. Uh, and yeah, let's see what's going to happen. Remember, the Beast Lord is almost maxed out, he has pretty good talents, he is red already, and all of his skills are maxed out for his 3 stars, which isn't really that difficult to achieve, and let's see what's going to happen. He is in one lane with um, the Seer and the Black Guard, so he can get this penetration. The match starts, the Devil will kind of die, which is to be expected, and now let's see what's going to happen. I am curious whether the enemy Naga will die. Actually, my Astro Naga will die. Let's see what's going to happen. And there you go, Naga dies. Naga dies, and this is with Abyss Lord 3 stars. Then Angel dies. So basically, I reckon that he's pretty, pretty useful with 3 stars. Of course, this is if you're running Zeron. I haven't tested this guy in any other formation, but I don't think that I have to because, after all, he has to be paired with the Devil. If you don't have the Devil and just running a Beast Lord, I don't know what you're going to achieve. If you want, you can buy him just for roster, but if you're running Inferno, definitely he is the guy. And even at 3 stars, he'll be quite, quite useful. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to drop the Beast Lord and we're going to put 6 stars, 5 stars Awaken, um, Pit Fiend, and you can see that, unfortunately, I won't be that successful against my Astro. So definitely the Beast Lord's 3 stars makes a difference and definitely I recommend getting this guy in an Inferno formation. Even if he doesn't really deal a lot of damage, it is not really that important. The most important thing is that he's going to execute the enemy front line, especially the offensive units, because they will be really, really annoying for your front line. Once, for instance, Astro Naga is down, then you can kind of be okay with the giant. But if the enemy Naga, Astro Naga lives, then you'll be in a lot of trouble. She's going to almost one-shot your almost every single tank that you have, except, for example, uh, if you have um, the Black Guard, the Black Guard will live. But any other Inferno tank will probably die to the Naga. So if the Abyss Lord is successful in defeating the Naga, then it will be much, much easier for you to s proceed and destroy the Astro Formation. And basically, this is going to be all for me for this video. I just want to let you know, guys, that the Beast Lord 3 stars is still useful, still viable if you're running Inferno, so definitely I recommend getting him. Uh, and the next week, I'll be showing what uh, this guy is capable of doing at uh, 6 stars, so stay tuned. And basically, I will let you now enjoy the rest of the testing. See you next time, guys. Take care. And actually, before I go, one last thing. When it comes to the emblems, I tested several emblems, but I believe that the Beast Lord is performing the best with Path of an Assassin. Test it for yourselves, but I tested uh, Anger, I tested uh, Jealousy, I tested uh, Forgotten, whatever, this purple emblem, and uh, he simply underperformed, with the best results achieved with uh, purple, I'm sorry, not purple, but orange Path of an Assassin emblem, so feel free to test it out as well.